You know how people say, you need to walk a mile in my shoes before you judge me? You could walk 500 miles in this person's shoes and you would never comprehend what they've been through. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denagno and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, American Dirt. This book was written by Janine Cummings. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense literature. So, American Dirt, okay? Let's get all into this cover. You got some tile work. It looks like it might be, you know, Latin American inspired, some of the design. But is it tile or is this barbed wire, right? I bring this up because this book will make you think about everything you've ever seen and question it. Now, without giving away the entire story, I will tell you that it's a story of immigrants, it's a story of their passage into America, and it's a story of a brilliant young man named Luca. I'm talking about a geography expert, genius, hypersensitive, hyper aware little boy. If you mention the state of Arizona, he will tell you how big it is, the population, the major city. If you mention the country of Cuba, he'll t he will tell you everything, right? And that is so telling because one of the most important things in the book to me is that you really have to consider what people are going through in their lives before you judge them. And I say that because you know how people often say, be nice to someone you never know what they're going through? This book is the definition of that. Because if you met Lydia in America, you would say, wow, she has this job, she's working here, her son is in school, cool. No, 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 no. She used to own a bookstore. She was a complete entrepreneur. She met the love of her life and started to go on this amazing adventure. She also has really good friends, right? There's more. She was a mom. She was a sister. She was a wife. She was a cousin. She had all of this stuff going. Even when Luca and Lydia are traveling and Luca starts to spout off all of the geography facts that he knows and they're just like, oh, that's so cool. Can I pay you to tell us more? Can I pay you? Like it's a gimmick and it's like, no, he's a genius. And they're asking Lydia, like, did you did you pay him to do this? Is this part of a trick? And she's like, no, he loves geography. And I'm like, can't the kid love geography? Why does he have to not love geography? Because you don't know any kids that love geography, right? So you have to look deeper. You have to. And that was one of the overarching themes of the book for me. Look, but there's more, right? Even when they're running and you see the Jeep and you're like, is it a good Jeep? Is it a bad Jeep? What are they trying to look for? What are they trying to find? Like there are so many nuances in the book and that was one thing that I absolutely loved about it because you have to look deeper. You have to wonder what people are going through. You have to wonder where they've been. So the last point I always mention, would I reread the book? American Dirt. I would. I thought Lydia and Luca were exceptional. The writing was really, really great. And I love the story. It made me look deeper. It made me wonder what's the background to some of the people that I see. You're in the grocery store. What's the story of the person next to you? You're driving your car. What's the story of the person next to you, right? And absolutely, I would reread this book because it really provoked something in me and made me want to look deeper at absolutely everything. So, if you're still here, thank you for watching today's review of the book, American Dirt. Let me know if you've read anything by the author, Janine Cummings. And if you are a people watcher, you know, you wanna go to the mall, you wanna look at people, you wanna say, what are they doing? What did they buy? What's that? Pick up this book, cause it'll get you all into the nitty gritty details of other people's lives, okay? So thank you for watching Kyla's Reading Day and I will see you next week. Bye.